okay I'm, uh, I don't know how I look in this I don't even know I'm wearing them at night but I thought it would like fit the theme of this video but anyways have you ever thought of disappearing like off the surface of the world just disappear no trace and all that I'm sure all of us at least once or twice or like a hundred times have thought about just disappearing leaving everything behind family friends school work just disappear start a new life and all that without any trace without anyone bothering us so yeah today we'll be checking out how to do that and I hope this will be informative for you in your you know attempt to disappear without a trace leaving all your friends and family behind wondering what they did to you for them you know to never hear from me again you know yeah so without further ado let's jump into the video this is sage if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and also leave a comment as well have you ever thought about disappearing let me know okay let me know how to go on the run and do it the right way and i'm in this shady looking area because most people think like people going on the run are going to be hiding in this place and this is we're going to be living for the next nine months but i'm going to tell you the right way to do it my name is jason hansen i'm a former cia officer and i'm the new york times best-selling author of spy secrets can save your life please welcome back former cia officer jason hansen former C <laughs> you know, I always wonder why American CIAs always have like so much to talk about whenever they retire or just leave the job. I thought like whatever they did at, at work was supposed to be secretive, but you know, it's always like out there in the public somehow. Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. So recently, as in just a few days ago, we had the story that was all over the news. It was about the prison guard. She'd been a prison guard for something like 25 years. And then she broke out her lover who had, they'd been dating or something for two years and then went on the run. They got caught after 10 days. So if you're doing something illegal, you should obviously get caught, but I'm gonna tell you <laughs> how I help people go on the run, how to disappear without a trace. So in my business, I do some consulting. I do a lot of consulting with people who are domestic violence victims and they have a crazy ex-husband crazy ex-boyfriend who's trying to kill him, the courts don't help, and they say, hey, I just want to disappear. So I help them start a new life, disappear without a trace, and I can tell you honestly, the only reason you're gonna to wanna to do this is if you have serious threats against you. Wait, so this is like his actual job, he's been doing it for some time, and it's serious like that, wow. Because it is very mentally tough, it takes an incredible amount of discipline. So going back to this woman who was a prison guard who had her boyfriend and they broke out and they were caught after 10 days, there's only one thing they did right. And the only thing they did right is to use cash. Uh, the guy, the convicted murderer, he was six foot nine. That is a major problem when you're going on the run because you need to blend in. So <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's funny. Imagine like, your major flaw about disappearing is just you being like very freaking tall. <laughs> so you mean short people have got an advantage on this one. Short people, this is your time to shine. You know, you've always been looked down on by society all these years. But in terms of disappearing, you're, you're like top of the list. So yeah, this is your time. <laughs> So it doesn't matter how many wigs you use, it doesn't matter all that kind of stuff, you can even change your gait, which you should. Six foot nine is hard to hide. So hopefully you're not six foot nine, and then if you have to disappear, you're more normal looking like I am, meaning I'm not super tall, I'm not, you know, anything, at least I think I'm normal looking, some may disagree. So that helps blend in. As I said, the only thing they did right, and the one thing they did right is they had cash. You've gotta have some cash. You can go sell your house like the woman did, take that cash. I personally build up cash all the time just to have for emergency uses. But it's true though, you, you really need to have a lot of money because uh, we have had such a case before back, uh, back home in Zambia. This woman, Pamela Gondway, she, she stole, uh, I've got the article right here. She stole 400,000 United States dollars you know, from, the, from a bank called Barclays Bank uh, in Zambia and Ever since she disappeared, no one has ever heard from her again. Like the case four years ago, it was four years ago when she stole the money. That was in 2019. She stole the money and no one has ever heard from her ever again. She left the country. She, she's like on an was this international, you could say criminal watch list and she has never been found. I don't know where she is. 
maybe, maybe she watched this video maybe she you know <laughs> maybe she got some advice from from such a guy but but wow big ups to her anyways for not being found even during this time everyone wonders how she just managed to disappear like so good so when people come to me i usually expect to hear very horrible stories right like hey my boyfriend's gonna murder me my ex-husband's gonna murder me the court system won't help me yada 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 so this woman hires me for a day of consulting wait but why, why go to this guy in the first place why not just go to the police because these are like you know threats uh criminal threats but again i don't know i don't know how people think maybe this is like the best solution they have maybe they've gone to the police and they haven't done anything so who knows who knows i'm expecting to hear some horrible story and she basically tells me in a nutshell hey my husband is a loser he hasn't had a job in 20 years I'm a very successful uh, executive. I almost said what she did. I'm not going to say that. But I'm a very successful executive, <laughs> and I just want to disappear and never, you know, never have anybody find me, not have to deal with them, any of that. <laughs> you see, again, why not just get a divorce and just move away from the area you you, you used to live together, <laughs> rather than you know, getting into such was this a situation of just disappearing without a trace? Well. Here's the problem with that. If you're trying to vanish for those reasons, you have to notify people. So you have to send that Dear John letter to your husband that says, hey, you're a loser, hasn't had a job in 20 years, <laughs> adios. You have to notify your friends and family because if you just vanish, what's gonna happen? Well, the police, the FBI, everybody's gonna get involved and you don't want law enforcement kind of coming after you. So if you are disappearing for good legitimate reasons, meaning not illegal reasons, you're not a fugitive, just escaped from prison, then you have to let somebody know that way you don't have the full you know federal government coming after you bothering you so that's very important next how do you decide where to go well you <laughs> want a small city and when i say small 25,000 and 50,000 people you don't want a city of 100 because then you will stand out but i'll tell you why you want the small city in a moment but 25 to 50,000 allows you to blend in you also want to be in a conservative place so you want to be in a state like Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, something like that. Florida's good. Florida's got a ton of small cities too. And the reason you want to be there is because... Why is he just giving suggestions for like cities in Oasis in, in America? You know, I thought like the, the range was going to be used. Like, okay, you go to a place like Italy to this small city or maybe Brazil to this small city, Africa to this small city. It's only giving like... Uh, American city suggestions but again what you just say you can use that as a reference like you know 20 to 25,000 people and just search like cities with like a population of 20 to 25,000 people to be easier as well to find them when you go to that city you're gonna use your cash to rent an apartment and you're gonna go to a mom-and-pop apartment management or not an apartment excuse me you want a rent a, a town home or a house from an individual not an apartment the reason you don't want an apartment is they have big databases they're going on all your information but when you go to these small places small towns and you rent a place you want to go to a mom and pop property management company that's what i meant to say a second ago these mom and pop property management companies if you bring them a cashier's check with a first month's rent last month's rent security deposit they will happily take your check without running any kind of check, uh, background checks, without doing anything. You don't want to go to a big firm, let's say a Remax or some national property management firm. They're going to have computer databases that are big. They're going to have many, many checks, uh, Checks meaning they're going to have things they have to check off to satisfy you know, their corporate overlord. Once you go to your small conservative town, you have to make sure there's public transportation. You are not going to be driving around in a vehicle. That's how people get caught all the time. And it's not as if you're going to be able to go online and pay $500 for a fake ID. If you do that and say, hey, I just went online and I you know, sent $500 to somebody, guess what? You're going to never see that $500 again and you aren't getting any type of ID. Now, people always ask me about burner phones. Here's the truth about burner phones. Yeah, you can go into Walmart, you can grab the uh, prepaid phone and grab the minutes. Do not go home and do it on the internet because that's not good. You have to put your information. You go up to the counter, you say to the person, hey, can you activate this phone for me? They're gonna roll their eyes at you because they hate actually working and doing their job, but they will do it. So they're gonna activate it and they're gonna say to you, hey, do you have any phone number, uh, other phone number that you want associated with this? No. Nope. Do you have an email you want associated with this? No. Nope. What zip code or excuse me, what area code would you like this phone number to be? And you should obviously have an area code in mind. Clearly not where you're going to live. Just pick one and 
if you're gonna go live in Idaho, pick an area code in Maine or something like that. So I think in terms of like logistics, the disappearing part, <laughs> especially the the reasons it's giving, like oh maybe I just don't want to be seen by this person or someone is look was just looking after me. Please, you know, just just go to the police or something like that because all these logistics. I don't know. If, I don't even know if someone could like sustain living such a lifestyle for like a long period of time. It is very very lonely if you're gonna do it. You're never gonna use email again. You're never gonna use the internet. You are not gonna have a bunch of friends. You're so this is what I would say. Like this just sounds so lonely. It was basically won't be been anything to do. I mean, you would say, for me, if I had to like, disappear, the things I would really need would be any gaming console, a PC, you know, as long as I, could, I can have games, I think I, think I can manage for, for at least a few months, close to a year. It's also like the, it's fun going outside. So as long as going outside isn't a huge, like a big deal, like oh, if you go outside, you'll be caught. But if I live like in a place where it's like quiet and going outside is is at least very good, taking walks and all that. Plus, you know, just having games, I guess, because it's like the only thing that, that keeps me entertained. And maybe maybe some TV, you could say. Then yeah, I could like disap I could manage for a few months, it's like taking a person out, out of modern society into like you know such a scenario where they don't have the everyday usage type of things i think it would be very hard or it could take forever to like get used to but if it's just someone who doesn't even know about most of these things because there are people out there and if you know they don't know about such stuff and you know you put them in, in such a situation i i don't think it'd be like very very hard i'm gonna go to thanksgiving and christmas and everything back home going on the run may sound sexy and cool when it comes to hollywood and movies but in real life unless somebody is threatening your life and you are very very motivated you're not going to want to do it the woman i started or talked about at the very beginning of the story who wanted to just get rid of her lose her husband and have a job i told her all this and she was like, oh yeah, maybe I, you know, maybe I don't want to do this because it is. <laughs> like I said, I'm sure it's just opted to get a divorce rather than just, you know, disappear. <laughs> it's so lonely because you're not going to see your loved ones again. Also, it takes an incredible amount of discipline. If you're trying to disappear for real, you're only going to use cash. As I said, you're not going to be getting on the internet and doing all, checking your Facebook page. Also, you are going to change your habits. If somebody's trying to find you, they are going to comb through your life and they're going to know them better than you know your, know you better than you know yourselves. Oh yeah, so like I said, like for example, for me, I love gaming, so I have to give up that, but I just get caught. <laughs> so you have to think, hey, I love Chick-fil-A. Well, I'm never going to eat a Chick-fil-A again. <laughs> hey, I love whatever store. And you have to think about all your hobbies, your likes, anything that they're going to find out about you and not do it anymore, which is why it takes so much discipline. Of course, you're going to use disguises, you know, grow out your beard, dye your hair, all that kind of stuff, wear a mask, wear a mask, which is, you know, easier these days. Even <laughs> though I hate wearing, wearing masks and I'm in Utah, which is very conservative, we never had to wear masks. If you were going on the run, you could wear a mask and it wouldn't be as obvious these days. So that's a benefit. Have your ball cap, facial hair, facial hair, you have to know what you're doing. That way it's not like the movies where your mustache is uh, hanging off sideways. So uh, I wonder what disguise I'd go for. I think I'd go for a disguise with like, which are the mustache. I always... I always, you know, dream about having just a so just a mustache, like an overgrown mustache, without having a beard, just just a mustache, so that, yeah, I'm sure that feels good. In theory, it's not hard to go on the run if you are disciplined, but most people will lose their mind. Most people will have a mental breakdown just because it is so mentally tough. So that is it for this video. I just wanted to check out, uh, you know, how to disappear. And yeah, I hope this video is fun. It was for me. It was kind of info informative, in, even though I won't be using this. What I've learned, like anywhere, <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but anyways, yeah, it was it was just you know that kind of video. I just wanna learn something random, and yeah, I hope you also learned something random today. And that's it for me. This has been Sage. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and also leave a comment as well when I hear your thoughts on it. And thank you for watching this video. Uh, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.